All right, so I wanted to share with you a video on how to do the Z height adjustment with a touch plate in IO sender on a print NC CNC machine. So what I've learned today is that um, there are some particular settings that you need to get correct first. Um, but first, let me show you this. This is my special touch plate that I had made. Um, it is 12 millimeters here and 12 millimeters here with a total thickness of 18. It's designed to go on a corner of a piece of stock so that you can get the edge finding. Now, um, before you begin to do your Z height adjustment, for example, I'm doing the Z height adjustment to my spoil board so I can surface the, the spoil board today and get it completely flat. Before you do that, make sure that you go into your Gerbil settings and you go to your Z axis travel resolution and make sure that your resolution is set the correct amount for your uh, Z ball screw. Mine is a 1204, so the correct number of steps is 200. If you have it wrong, it will travel the wrong distance uh, in comparison to what the software thinks. And I had it set at 250 mistakenly, and it was um, not moving the correct distance. Also, just a note for X and Y, uh, I have my steps set to 100 for both, and that's because I have 2010 and 1610 ball screws on my X and my Y, and those require 100 steps per millimeter. Um, and I've got my drivers set to 1,000 um, micro steps and for their X and Y, and I have it set for 800 uh, for Z on my steppers. Anyway, back to the Z height adjustment. Make sure you get this correct, otherwise the Z height will, will be incorrect. When you're doing the probing, do not use the tool length offset to get your Z height, or at least I was told this is not really the place to do it. This is for your tool. You want to do it under edge finder and what you need to do is you need to click here in order to get it to find the top edge of your touch plate. I didn't realize when I was seeing edge finder, I thought it meant edge finder. But the top is an edge too in, in this parlance, I guess. Um, so it's not the top side, it's the top edge. So click in the middle here and then make sure it's set to probe Z and put it where you're wanting to um, test to. So for me, I'm going to test to here, which is 12 millimeters. I'm gonna put it under the tool. I've got the, I've zeroed out my X, Y, and Z and then brought this down to here. And now that I've got it close, I'm gonna go ahead and click start start and then it's going to go down and it's going to touch off and then it's done so now i've got an adjustment here it says i'm 19.3 millimeters from zero so how we can test that is um we can go ahead and go back to gerbil tab the gerbil tab and then I set this on one millimeter of distance. Then I use the page down button and I page down and see how far it goes until it touches. It says I'm supposed to be 19.3. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my little piece of wax paper here. You can use regular paper or tin foil, something thin. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tab uh, page down each time I press it, it's going to go down one millimeter. 
So if you take a look, it's going down 12, 11, 10. Let's see how many more I've got. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And I'm actually at 0 0.300. This is still moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my distance to 0.1. Then I'm going to use the tab, uh, page down again and go down 1, 2, 3. And let's see if that's 0. It's not 0. It's not exactly accurate. So I'm going to go down one more and check it again. Now it's not moving. Now it's stuck. And it says I'm at 0 0.100. I'm going to go back up one page up, so I'm at zero, and then it moves. So I got into within 0.1 millimeter using my tool this time. So what I can do is, if I want, I can go down to uh, page down or page down and then just hit zero there. And that'll give me a perfect zero. Um, the tool setter though normally is just as accurate uh, and faster. So I prefer to use this. All right, um, that should do it. And for basic Z-height probing using a touch plate and eventually I will uh, study what these other offsets are and share that information with you because um, they're also here under the tool length offset and pro fixture at G59. I need to look up what this does and what these offsets do and then I'll make a video on that uh, later once I've got the tool setter set up. But for now, this should get you your Z height and get you started. All right. Thanks.